Trench! I want that suitcase, Sarah. Carl, I told you I don't have it. I never even went back. There was $300,000 in there. Well, give us some protection. They can't. We're shorthanded. Uh, come on, you're going to my place. You'll get the suitcase, and you'll bring it here, or I'll kill her. Maybe you can torture it out of me, but not soon and not easy. Uh, he's holding Sarah, I'm holding the suitcase, and you're holding it. Let's have a look at you. Carl, please. <laughs> oh, please, that's class. The way you look, I remember you with a beehive hairdo and high heel plastic shoes. That's eight years ago. Oh, sit down. <clears throat> Cuba Libra, right? That was eight years ago, too. That's right. You grew up and I went to jail. I know, I'm. I'm glad that you're out now, Carl, but uh, let's not play high school reunion. Still love me? No. Frightened of you? No. Interested in you? Uh, not very much. So why don't you just tell me what you want? Money. I'm not on the con anymore. I have been straight for eight years. Let's cut out the violins. I can come up with a small steak for you, and that's it. Oh, stop it. Don't try to con me. I want the suitcase. You want what? Suitcase, satchel, bag. I left it but with I, you. But I don't know what you're talking You don't mean that old, beaten-up suitcase you used to use when you, when you played rooms? Yeah, that's the one. Carl, I left that in San Diego. I mean, there was nothing in it but junk. What is this? There's supposed to be some kind of Spanish treasure map in there, and if I come up with the financing, I think... Okay, okay. I was just testing. I checked you out. And successful business, money in the bank. I built that business. I know, I know. I'm sorry, honey. I guess I was just trying to hustle you a little bit. You know, about the stake you mentioned, I could I could use strictly so alone. I, you know? Listen, I, we've all been there. Oh, wait. It's, no, no, no. I'm in front of God and everybody. Come on outside. I want that suitcase, Sarah. Carl, I told you I don't have it. I never even went back into the apartment. There was $300,000 in there. <laughs> I do who the man is, Lieutenant. 
And I, I, I'm really sorry I can't give you a better description. You never saw him before, except for the long and friendly conversation you had with him in the bar. You've got a slight rib separation. There's nothing serious. Just keep it bound and uh, stay out of fights. Oh, I hope so. Thank you, Doctor. What I meant was... Thank you, Doctor. That <coughs> I have never seen him before today. But we got to talking, and he seemed nice enough, uh, sympathetic. He must have been. He went outside with him and flashed a handful of money. The man asked me if I had changed for $20. We went outside, and I started to give him the money. And you, well, you know what happened. He, he grabbed for it. I was stupid. Miss Weber, I don't think you're stupid. Why do you think I am? There's a man in there getting his belly sewn up. You have some bruised ribs. I understand that you're frightened. But why not take a chance? Let me help. I'm sorry. OK. We're both sorry. I'm a cop. Perhaps what you need is a priest or a therapist. I don't know. But withholding information from the police is a misdemeanor. I'm going to make a deal with you. I will let you go on the condition that you see a private investigator. His name is Orwell. Harry Orwell. I'd say Carl doesn't have it, Mr. Charts. But he's certainly hot on the trail. Yeah, he met with a girl. They had a fight. I guess she doesn't have it either. Stay with him. One or the other is going to lead you to it. I've waited eight years for this. Don't blow it. I hadn't been surprised when I got a call from Sarah Weber because Lieutenant Trench had called me first and asked me to do him a favor. He was worried about it. You know, for Trench, that was really quite sentimental. He said he didn't want any DOAs on his turf. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be Miss Weber? No, I certainly would. Yeah, Harry Orwell. Oh, Mr. Orwell, thank you for coming. Um, well, I've seen you. I've kept my part of the bargain, so would you like to buy a plant? I see. You didn't want to make the phone call. You don't trust me. You don't want to talk to me. I like the way you put it. Yeah, Lieutenant Trench did say you had a limited sense of self-preservation. Say hello to Mac the Knife. Am I really supposed to trust you, policeman's best friend? Listen, tell me honestly. Are you a cop? Yeah, ex-cop from San Diego. I'm a private detective now, which you tell me would be confident. Uh, does San Diego ring a bell? I used to live there. Uh... Operated there with a man named Carl Dawes. Oh, Carl Dawes, yes. Charlie uh, Dorn, uh, Cal Durham. He had a lot of names. He worked the country boy con. I don't remember a Sarah Weber. I was only arrested twice. First uh. time I got probation, and second time I served a four month sentence. Mm. As I recall, Carl went down for something that wasn't his style. What was it, manslaughter? Mark called Tanner. Uh, I was working him, setting him up for a switch, and. Uh, Tanner was tight. He was cute. So Carl hit him over the head a couple of times, robbed him, and ran. Nobody knows how much he got except five to ten for manslaughter. Carl's out, and where's the money? I don't know. I never saw it. Uh, Carl came back to our apartment and laid low for a while. And then one afternoon, I came home, and the place was swarming with cops. I had never seen so many policemen in my whole life. I never went back inside again. I split. I came up here to Los Angeles. and. I started night school, and I got into plants, and I opened this place about two years ago. What does uh, Carl want from you? Excuse me. Well, he wants a suitcase, cheap $10 suitcase. He used to use it uh, when he was on the con playing rubes. What's in it? Nothing. I mean, filler, junk, nothing. It, Carl's talking about $300,000. Is that the money he got from Tanner? How much do you charge, Orwell? Me? $100 a day, plus expenses, plus mileage. And for that, you get to call me Harry. I'm going to give you a check in two days. That should cover it. Cover what? I want you to go down to San Diego and see this woman. She was my landlady at my old apartment house. I want you to see if she still has the stuff that I left there. See if you can find that suitcase. And bring it back here. No, give it to Carl. I don't want to see it. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to have anything to do with it. What if I give it to Lieutenant Trench? 
Well, that way Carl will go after you instead of me. I guess that's a lot to buy for $100 a day. Plus expenses. All right, I'll see what I can do, Miss Webber. Sarah. Sarah. I forgot the check, Sarah. Oh, I'm sorry. Carl Dawes, get a complete make on him from the San Diego Police Department, then put out an APB. Right. We'll drag him in on a day or two. And that's what they said about Patty Hearst. It's his finest of case. With the $300,000. You don't believe the lady? I believe she's in trouble. Roberti? Kate Roberti. Remember us, Sarah Weber? Sure, I remember Sarah. One of my tenants. Disappeared eight years ago. Right after Carl Dawes went to jail, huh? King Crumb himself. You a cop? Well, I'm a private detective. My name's Harry Owa. Come on up, Harry. I'll buy you a beer. Okay. Why King Crumb? Carl Dawes was a louse. A real rotten son of a basket weaver. <laughs> and believe you me, I am an expert witness. In my time, I have known both in and out of the biblical sense some of the world's great crumbs. But Sarah loved him. She was 18 years old. At that age, a girl can fall in love with a crocodile. <laughs> and Sarah did. OK. You look me over. Now what do you want? A suitcase. An old suitcase. It was left here eight years ago. Belongs to Sarah. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, no, she gave me the OK. If there are any uh, storage charges or anything like that. I don't want the money. I like Sarah, but it's gone. A friend of hers picked it up earlier today. She told me Sarah sent her. What friend? Lisa Hagman. She was tied up with Carl Dawes, too. She and Sarah, cute and tough. I never liked her. <laughs> oh, but a suitcase has been sitting down in the basement forever. I figured, why not? What's in that suitcase? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask Lisa. Do you have her address? Mm, I think I have an old address on her here someplace. I don't know. Maybe she still is hooked up to King Crumb. She just said that Sarah phoned her from L.A. and asked you to pick up the suitcase. Yeah, I use your phone. Help yourself. The odds are Carl Dawes got this Lisa Hagman to pick up the suitcase. So all we have to do is locate Dawes, and we'll have the whole package. I like the we part. Hey, wait a minute. The way you're cutting me out sounds like you have something. All right, we've got a lead. I'm checking it out. If we're lucky, we'll pick up doors tonight. Well, I'm glad we're back to we. Ah, here it is. 1421 South Elm, apartment two. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, you for that long distance I'll call. I'll take care of the call. It's the least I can do for Sarah. Now, look. You take care of that girl. Here. OK. Thank you. Did you forget something? Yeah. Lisa Hagman? She's not here. Do you know where I can find her? 
She went to Los Angeles. Where in Los Angeles? Who are you? Uh, Carl Dawes. Oh, just a minute. She left this address. She said you were supposed to meet her there. Uh, 2909 13th Street, Santa Monica. Yeah. A girl named Lisa Hagman picked up a suitcase that belongs to Carl. She's probably on her way to meet him now. Is he at home? Yeah. I lost him on a freeway. But I'm waiting here for him to come back to the apartment. What we want is in that suitcase. Watch for the girl. What else, sweets? Uh... Plays out that way. Well, they killed her, grabbed the suitcase, and ran with whatever's inside of it. Not exactly, Robert. No? First, he went through this. Then he tore the apartment apart, killed a girl. Which means he didn't find whatever he was looking for. Which means he's still looking for it, and he thinks Sarah Weber had it. I, d I don't know what Carl was looking for. These? Oh, they're phonies. They're worthless. But according to you, he was looking for $300,000. Well, that's what the man said. In what? In cash, securities, in jewelry? In pennies. How should I know? You don't seem to know much of anything, do you, Miss Weber? But Carl Dawes thinks you do. Why? Because he's stupid, because he's working a con. How do I know? There's nothing in there but junk. That's all there is. There's not 300,000 anything in there. Went through her life, there's no 300,000. Now, give us some protection. Look down another road for your imaginary 300,000. It's not imaginary. I checked on the man Dawes killed eight years ago, a uh, Mr. Tanner. I don't see the connection. Tanner was not an ordinary mark. He was a courier for what we delicately refer to as the organization. He was carrying some payoff money, roughly one-third of a million. We have x-rayed the suitcase, we have double-checked the securities, we have even read the letter looking for invisible ink. We have searched, we have found nothing. The suitcase has been in the basement for eight years. I mean, anybody could have cleaned it out, including me. But I didn't. You know, that sound has the ring of truth to it, does it not? Perhaps. Well, give us some protection. You are free to go, Miss Weber. I can't. Oh, well, we're short-handed. Come on, stay at my place. It's a uh, service he provides. Free of charge, of course. believe that Carl killed Lisa. He wants to kill me. A man that I lived with, a man I made love with, wants to kill me. Well, he's been in prison for eight years. That could twist anyone. I know that. Look, even, even back in the beginning, I knew that he wasn't exactly my true love. Your lights go on. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it was dark in here, so I thought I'd turn on the lights. Hmm. What can I get you? I blew a fuse. Fuse? Do you have an extra fuse? Fuse. That must have a fuse. Hey, I think so. Thank you. Fuse, fuse. Uh, uh Sarah, uh, this is, uh, Sue. Sue, this is, uh, Sarah. Uh, Sarah's gonna stay over for a couple of days. How nice. 
Hey, uh, Sue's my next-door neighbor. How convenient. Oh, here they are. Fuses. Got them. There you go. Thank you. I'll just go home now and stumble around in the dark and try to find a place to put it without electrocuting myself. Goodbye. She's pretty. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, she is, uh, you know, uh, sort of the kid next door type. She drops by for a cup of coffee every now and then. Next time you have a cup, better check for arsenic. Uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, Carl Dawes, how did you acquire him? Acquire? Yeah. <laughs> I was so dumb back then, I wouldn't even have known what that word meant. See, I was 14, my ma died, and uh, my kin didn't take too kindly to me, so I, uh, I got a job. Went to work in a restaurant. That was in Ealing, Texas. <laughs> I was 16. And I was so desperate to look 26, like a woman. Carl treated me like a woman, like somebody. So you fell in love with Carl? Or something. I, I didn't know the difference. Come on, let's go out, sir. I just wanted somebody to want me. Any way at all, I guess, except in the back of a pickup truck or a stoned on cheap liquor. Ealing, Texas does not offer a girl a lot of golden opportunities. <laughs> yes, sir. Carl asked me to go with him. I went. So you did what he told you to do. You became what he wanted you to be. Learn to work the con. Set up the mark. I learned I didn't know much about anything, including Carl. And when he took that big fall, I, I thought that I might be able to change my luck, get out. What does that make me? Smart. Oh, that's no, easy to say. It makes you smart because you were smart enough to get out and make a life yourself. That's smart, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Change my luck. Mm -hmm. Change my life. Success. And look at me, here I am, right back at square one. I'm still that dumb kid from Ealing who had all the good old boys chasing after. Only now, it's Carl who's chasing after me. Oh, yeah. The police are chasing after him, and you're here with me, and you're safe in my house, and uh, that's all right, too, isn't it? There's no strength, Sarah. someone to hold me. Put your hands on the counter there. Sarah in there? Uh, she's asleep. Let's go surprise her. Why ain't you just a beautiful sight? Oh, my God. It's all right, Sarah. I'm not going to shoot anybody just yet. Where's the suitcase? Well, she doesn't have it. The police are holding it. There is nothing in it, Carl. Whatever you're looking for is gone. <laughs> Sarah, my love, it's just a sentimental treasure, and I want it. And you're going to get it for me. Yeah, the police have already... The police think I killed Lisa. They're stupid. I don't care what they think. I just want what's mine. Now, get up and get some clothes on. You're coming with me, and you're going to go get the suitcase. I guarantee it. Well, you're an ex-cop. They'll listen to you if you just keep talking. Listen, all I can do is try. You'll do it. You'll get the suitcase, 
and you'll bring it here and you get your phone fixed. And I'll call and you'll say that you've got it ready for delivery. Or I'll kill her. Oh, well, I may use it as evidence. There's no way you're going to get your suitcase. blood under no, it, in no. it, around it. There is nothing. Is that too much to trade for a girl's life? After all, it's not even an official exhibit. How do you know that? Because I'm an ex-policeman. Uh -huh. What if I go to the newspapers? How about this headline? Police sentence hostage to death. You do that to me? No, I wouldn't. On the other hand, you might. On the other hand, I might. May I have the suitcase? Take the suitcase. Thank you. Bring it back. Hey, Sue, I can't talk to you right now. Um, I'm sorry about last night. Yeah, well, there's nothing to be sorry about. Nothing at all. Listen, I'll explain later. Well, is that person up. still there? Uh, no. Oh, well, I certainly hope I didn't have anything to no, do No, no, nothing at all. Listen, I can't talk to you right now. I'm expecting a very important call. Harry. No, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Harry? You're not very nice, Harry. She's learning. Hello. You have it, Orwell? I got it. All right, there's a phone booth in a junkyard on Malibu Road, exactly 2.6 miles north of the highway. I know where it is. Go there. Let's go. Uh, hello? Yes? Carl Dawes. I have it. Delivery tomorrow. I'm getting it back, Chang. After eight years, it's finally coming back where it belongs. What are you talking about? I didn't bring him. Well, what are they doing, having a picnic? It's too bad. We all lose. Hey, look, I got the suitcase. It's in the car. I'll get rid of them. All right, one more shot. Now, remember, I can see you. I can see the whole valley. Now, get rid of your friends and be back in that phone booth at 1.30 on the button. I'll make one more call, and that's it. Trench! Trench! Get in the car. You know we had to try it. Why'd you have to try it? To improve your arrest record? Oh, well... And now, damn it, he's got Sarah's life on the line. I'm aware of that. Well, I'm glad you're aware of it. Uh, he's holding Sarah, I'm holding the suitcase, and you're holding your... Carl Dawes is a pro. Don't play cowboys and Indians. What did he tell you? We discussed Eastern politics. It's none of your business what he told me. I got one last chance to contact him. Where? Well, I'm not gonna tell you, and if you show up, I'll forget we're friends. Okay. 
I won't put a tail on you. I won't stake you out. This is your last chance. Is that a promise? It is. Okay. No, Roberts, no stake out, no tail. Not necessary, Dawes. Didn't have time to set up another safe contact point. You'll have to use the phone. We'll tap it. Well, what if Dawes Then we'll take our chances. And so will all well. Mm -hmm. Right here. Dawes must be somewhere in this area. Should I alert the mobile units? No. 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 I made all well promise. He does not take such things lightly. And neither do I. But not to worry, Mr. Charts. We know where he is. Where? Well, we followed him from Orwell's place to a tacky old ranch in the Malibu Hills. He, he's sitting there feeling safe. And the curl? He's got the girl. We think he's trading. Oh, well. All right, let's get this over with. I must say this one time. There's three directories in that phone booth. The orange one. Western area, page 165. Get the Western area phone booth. Yes, sir. Sergeant. Thank you, sir. I don't know what I'd do without you. 185. 165. 65. Of course, Sergeant. bring a gun, I just brought the suitcase. Poor Carlo. He had an illusion that he was a man of action. Boy simply had no choice. Where's the suitcase? I told you, it's not in my car. I want to ask you a question. Let me answer it. We represent the group that formerly employed the late Mr. Tanner, the group that owns the goods door stole. We're collectors. Would you whiz out and get the case, Roy? Well, I'll tell you about that case. There's nothing in it. There's nothing in it but junk. It's been searched Carlo, and searched, uh, but... Carlo sent that girl after it, Lisa Hagman. Did you kill her? I find it hard to believe that Carlo would go to so much trouble for junk. Uh 
There are five addresses on this page that are in this area. Creek Canyon, Puma Mesa, Montero Road, Valley Springs, Rodeo Ridge. They're all ranches. Find out who they belong to. Yes, sir. Search him. I'm not interested in your problems. I'm only interested in results. Understand one thing, my delicate friend. If there are no results, the problems you have now will seem like blessings. Would you like me to be more specific? Uh, that won't be necessary. I understand. He's clean. Apparently, dear Carla was trickier than we thought. We shall either have to think of a very good explanation or a very remote place in which to spend our declining years. Meanwhile, let's clean up here. A fire, I think. I I've got the answer to this. Uh, of course you do, sweets. We'll use Orwell's car for kindling. Uh, police are probably looking for it anyway. Look, I don't mean that I know where Carl hid whatever it is. But I do know where he was going to cash it in and with who. I heard him talking about it on the phone before you killed him. Talking at home. I'm not going to tell you. Eventually, you will do. Eventually, the police are looking for Carl. They're looking for Sarah. The chopper should be out inside the hour. Eventually, not very long. Let's find out. Hey, listen. You're going to kill us anyway. Now, maybe you can torture it out of me. But not soon and not easy. You're always flying off. We're not going to simply accept your uh, questionable information and let you go. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll stay here with one of you, the other one take her to whoever. When you make the deal, you let her go. And you take your chances. Admirable. Heroic. No. Quite correct, no. But almost a yes. You stay here with me, sweets. And you go with Roy. You guide Roy and the suitcase to that mysterious buyer. Then after the payoff, if there is a payoff, you come back here. After the fire is over, no, thank you. Tie you both up and leave you here. Police will find you eventually. That's your favorite word. I, I want some guarantee. I'll give you one. Either you decide to go along or well, or we'll kill you both right now. Discuss it. Well, that stinks, doesn't it? Well, uh, at least there's a chance if you can get dear Roy. There's a possibility. How about you and the firebug? It's not my type. Huh? His name is Moroccan. He lives in Santa Barbara. Take care, Harry. You got a deal? Sit down, sweets. Relax. Gentlemen, I'm 
Samaraki. Harry Orwell, this is Roy. How do you do? And uh, my old friend Carl. He's dead. How sad. Uh, but you did bring the blue. It's in there. Gentlemen. It's a beautiful house. Yes, I prefer to work in sunlight with living things, growing things, memory of beauty, rarities of history. Out of uh, simple curiosity, gentlemen, what is your relationship? Look, we're just here to get a payment. Ah, money does forge strange alliances. I'm a private detective, and Roy is a collector. Ah, oh, so am I. I feel hardly any kinship. You know, Roy and his friends collect money for crooks, from crooks. Carl Dawes intercepted one of those collections. Roy wants to get the money back for his people. And you? Let's just get on with it, huh? I, uh, don't collect laundry. I have this curious notion, gentlemen, that neither of you knows precisely what Carl was selling. You reason that out since you were here. Very good, Mr. Orwell. What? Uh, it had to be something portable, something Carl could get through customs. He was not planning to retire here. Brazil, I believe. Of course, that was eight years ago. Well, they must have appreciated in value. Impossible. Care to give me a quote? I'll be honest. It has appreciated in value, uh, shall we say, $400,000? Not six. I like you, Orwell. You're negotiating in midair, so to speak. Look at him, poor fellow. Baffled. I know one thing, Mr. Marakian. I get the payoff, I get it in cash. You see, his friend is holding the hostage. Ah, that explains why you're here with him. Uh, shall we uh, settle for $500,000, half a million? You tore it. Be quiet. Mm. Beautiful. Unique. That's it. Yeah. I sold it to Dawes eight years ago and regretted it ever since. However, red cast upon the waters. Uh, you need cash. No, I'd like to set my hostage free. Uh, I'm afraid you two will have to negotiate that between oh, what you. What I was thinking of is that if I let you have that stamp for what Dawes paid for it... Um, 300,000. You would have made a profit. And you? Yeah, I'll trade it for you. I think you're freaked out, Orwell. I have a feeling you're a man of resource. I don't know what your game is, and I don't care. I want the money due, and we'll get out of here. I'm sorry. Chang. Yes, sir. Will you open the safe door? Yes, sir. As a precaution, this key is inserted while electronic control is actuated on this side of the room. Uh, Chang? <coughs> Thank you, Chang. Uh, will you bring the money? Yes, sir. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, just hold him until the police arrive. Would you call Los Angeles and ask to speak to Lieutenant Trench? Please fill him in about all this. Tell him I'll be at the Hidden Valley Breeding Ranch at Malibu. Mm. Consider it done. And uh, I consider it a bargain. Thank you. Thank you. Chang? Chang, we've got the blue again. I think I found something, Lieutenant. It might help us. 21688 Montero Road. Here it is. Hidden Valley Breeding Ranch. Long's it. Uh, Mr. Wilson Dawes. Ranch is up for auction to pay back taxes. That's it. He died two months ago. Two hours. Roy should have called. 
Maybe he took the money and ran. Maybe there is no money. Maybe this is a cheap attempt to buy time. Maybe you better give me the name of the buyer. You know, sweets, if I show up at her office without the money, I'm in serious trouble. Very serious. So I don't much care what I have to do to get it. Call Mr. Marakian, thank him for the message. Tell him we're on our way to the ranch. Then call the Santa Barbara police. Have him pick up Garvey. I'll make it simple. Talk to me, or I'll start shooting slowly from the ground up. The buyer's name. Marakian. Sam Marakian. Where's Roy? You can't? I care. Did your boss get? Throw it over here. The girl first. How do I know you won't kill me? Why would I kill you? I brought you the money. All right. Oh, stand over here behind me. Now the money. say that anymore. Oh, well. <clears throat> Something wrong with your voice? Is it to oh, see air? Sorry, Orwell, but the door was well, open. What do you want, Miss Weber? Lieutenant. Is that it? Is that it? The money. Oh, well. Oh, the money. What money? Don't get cute. Coleman told me all about it. Tell me about money. Tell you about the money. Didn't tell Three hundred thousand dollars, Orwell. All that money. Well, that money. Well, we didn't know who it belonged to, did we? No, so it we didn't know who to the it state. Came. The state is going the to use it as evidence. Didn't tell us it belongs to the state. 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 What did you do it. with it all? Huh? Well, it's on the uh, chest next to the lamp. dollars cash through the mail? That's right. It doesn't even have a stamp. Well, it's government business. You must be out of your mind. What if this well, has been misdirected? What money, if money! He isn't having it. Are you just going to stand there? Hmm? Are you just going to stand there? 